Today's video, I'm going to show you how to, uh, first of all, use a monometer to check ohms, which I've already done in some other videos, but uh, this is just another example of things you can use the uh, monometer for. And the other thing you're going to learn is uh, how to check to see if your throttle position sensor is, is good or bad. Um, in this case, we're using uh, my YZ250F uh, carburetor with the throttle position sensor already on there. Um, and this will work very similar for all models. But please keep in mind, the ohm readings may be different. Um, you know, I don't know all those readings, so if you email me, I mean, I'm going to have to do the same thing you do, is go, you know, see if I can find it on the internet. So, um, you know, if you need the ohm reading, just do a search. You should be able to find it, or it's in your manual. Uh, this particular model should be anywhere from 4 to 6 ohms um, at, you know, room temperature, let's say. So, we're going to go ahead and test that. First thing we want to do is uh, have a monometer set up. Got this set up on uh, 20K here. Uh, 200K would give us the same reading uh, on our own setting down here. So up here is off, it's off, and then you've got your ohms which there, and we'll go to 20K. Um, second thing you need to do, again, back to your owner's manual. This has three wires, and the owner's manual tells you, which on all bikes should tell you, uh, what, what two wires to use, because you've only got a positive and negative on your meter. Um, in this case, we've got a blue, black, and a yellow. Uh, the blue is positive, the black is negative, we don't use the yellow at all So um, to test our own reading. So again, this should get anywhere from 4 to 6 ohms. Anything in between there, we know we're good. So the first thing you want to do is, in here, in the plug, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, probably not. Yeah, you can kind of see the prongs in there. Uh, there's the prongs, and you just simply you know, follow what wire they go to, which is right down here. So here's our our blue right here on the outside. I'm going to go ahead and connect our positive to our blue. And the, the easiest way to do this is with two hands and not using these clips because it's pretty hard to get in there. But for video purposes, I'm going to go ahead and use these. And put your black on your negative, which is also your black. If we can get that clamped in there. Okay, we'll go over to the meter here. And you can see we're at. Uh, 4.67, so we're, we're golden. Um, anything above or below that, you could actually, oops, sorry. You could actually tilt this, unscrew this and tilt it to uh, try to obtain the correct reading. But from what I've found a lot of times in the past, this turning this really doesn't do a whole lot of difference. So um, that's one thing to keep in mind. If you get a, a real high reading or no reading at all, chances are your throttle position sensor is bad. So. That's really it. Just a quick and short, sweet video there. Um, again, you can take this off. There's just a, a Torx there, and you could twist it. There's a very little bit of movement in there. Um, but like I said, nine times out of ten, I haven't felt you know that that does a lot of good. Uh, depending on the bike, I assume probably. But uh, if you're not getting a reading at all, it's time to replace. So this is a, a quick and easy way, assuming you have a monometer, to uh, check to see if the uh, throttle position sensor is uh, bad or good. So. There you have it. Uh, please feel free to post any questions or comments and uh, rate the video. Uh, thumbs up or whatever. I don't guess they have ratings anymore. So that's it. Thanks for watching.